Yo! What's up, what's up, what's up? All right, Terrence, what's up, man? Keith, how y'all doing today? I don't know if that music's too loud. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's bring that down a little bit. What's up, y'all? How is it going today? All right, let's see here. Happy New Year, fellas. Welcome to 2024. What is up? What is up, y'all? How y'all doing today? God dang, I feel like I just woke up and get myself together here, making sure everything's working properly. Hopefully the music's not too loud. It looks like it might be too loud, but I, I think we're good. Uh, I'm okay, okay, okay. Damn, this song just hits. Love this song. Um. All right. What is up, dudes? Just had your first day at your job, loving it. Heck yeah, good to hear, man. It's always a nice. It's always a nice uh, sign whenever the first day at work you're loving it. Heck, damn, new year, new job. I'm at work five super easy days of thirteen hours. You're working thirteen hours. Wait. Are you working 13 hours in five days or 13 hours each day for five days? Today is my dude. I have look, I have facial hair. I have not been to work. Well, I mean, technically, let me see. The last day I was working normally was the 22nd of December. I've not been to work. I, I've been to my office a couple times, but like uh, last week, I went for a few hours just to tidy up some things and get some stuff rolling. But I've not been to work regularly since 22 December. And today, uh, 13 hour days for five days. Holy shit, man. Putting in that freaking work. It's quite a few hours you're working there, but I'm the exact opposite. I'm, I've been like... I'm going on damn near two weeks now of I've not done crap. Like I've been as lazy as possible for two weeks now, and it's been absolutely glorious. All right, let me. So check this out. Here's what I want to do. Why is that unpackaged? Let's repackage that. So here's what we got to play with today. Where'd it go? Vorton. Vorton, Vorton, and Vorton. Are you still in the military? Yeah, I'm still in the military. Um, my entire career, it's been like this, where like Christmas and New Year's week is very chill and we don't really work. Like unless you're in a deployed environment, um, deployed location, you don't work Christmas and New Year's week, week really. It's very it's very chilled. And at least that's how it's been for me for the past 11 years. Um, it's like it's like known that hey for Christmas week and New Year's week those are two weeks where we're all just gonna chill and um, awkward silence where we're waiting for the next song. Um, I do traffic safety. Look forward to the stream. Hell yeah, dude! Appreciate that. Hey, I figured today's my last day of freedom before I got to go back to work as normal tomorrow, so might as well stream. But yeah, it's been nice, man. Almost two weeks off of work. Whew. Love it. All right. Let's get ready to roll some modules. So I've got three decayed, two gravid, one unstable, six Vorton tuning systems. Right now, I only have one, one uh, little, what is it? Right there. Right there is my one Vorton tuning system. I would like to upgrade the, uh, upgrade the other two. So I currently have six possibilities right now for upgrading my Vorton tuning systems. Let's go ahead and roll, shall we? All right. First three decayed. How, whoa, whoa, what's my CPU at? Let me see. All right, so I have no CPU. Damn, really? I have 1.5 CPU to play around with. Why did that happen like that? No, I don't want fast animations. All right, so 
Really good damage modifier, really bad rate of fire bonus right there. I wonder though, that's really green. Look at that. That CPU though, I can't work with that. All right, let's do another one. Bad CPU, good damage, bad rate of fire. Holy crap. Okay, that's, that's a brick. Fuck, man. Okay, next. Really bad CPU, really bad damage, and rate of fire. Oh my god, 0.87%. Look at that, dude. What the hell? All right, so those are the three DK. Those are the crappy ones. Next, now we've got the Gravid. We got two Gravid here. This is where things start getting expensive. Terminator, what's up, man? Been using the SP for a while now. Got ganked and lost one. It's that way. It's so easy and makes so much, uh, dude, right? Easy peasy farm. Damn, gankers got it? That sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Damn, gankers. All right, Gravid Vorton Tuning Mutaplasmid. CPU's good. Damage is good. Ah, oh, Rate of Fire can suck one. That was almost really cool. Check that out, dude. That was almost really good. That's 200 mil down the drain right there. All right. CPU slightly bad, damage really bad, right? Oh my God. All right, this is the one that matters. Please. Dude, I think, I, I don't know. I, I think this was like, I think I spent 600 million isk on this one. Oh man. I'm pretty sure I spent like 600 million isk on this one mutaplasmid right here. RM Jesus, please. All right, let's go. All right, CPU bad. Damage good. Rate of fire. Ah, son of a. Are you serious, dude? Like, that gives me nothing to work. I'm pretty sure I just got six freaking bricks, man. Okay, so that one's really bad. That one's a plus 1% 1 rate of fire. That one's damage modifier. God, that sucked. That one's really bad. That's bad CPU, bad damage, but really good rate of fire. But that one's good CPU, good damage, bad rate of fire. I wonder. So having high damage and low rate of fire and high rate of fire and low damage can work in your favor as it gets around stacking bonus penalty. Really? So we're talking, so let's say this and this for CPU. So hold on, let me see something here. So right now, let's do Electro Punch. Oh, let's simulate. So right now, I'm at 303 DPS. 303.2, let's take both of those off and let's go back to the Vortons. I uh, need a better way to see this. All right, so we were at 303.2. If I put this one, and where's that other, and this one, that's 304, but my CPU's bad, damn it. All right, so rate of fire goes up right there. Do I have any others that could possibly work? That's damage. So, DPS went up. I'm pretty sure I spent a billion isk on all those mutaplasmids. I can't even fit this because CPU. And damage went up by 2 point, one, 1 point. What was it at? 3 oh? Wow, I hate this game. All right, so hold on. Let's see something here. Wow, that sucked. All right, where's the rate of fire one? So damage, is, does that even help me? Holy crap. All right, so let's see. I'm at, this is with Galva Surge, 252.7. If I take that off and put the really good rate of fire one on there, 254. I don't think that's good, is it? 252. Okay, so it did go up, but see, for CPU reasons, I can't equip that. 
That's really painful, man. I, I got screwed hard on this one. Wow. All right, let's take the highest. What's this? I'm just trying to figure out which one. This is the unstable one. So let's take, let, let's do, let's go back here. Let's remove the charge. Put electro punch. Go back here. All right, so again, 303.2 DPS. If I put the unstable and the high rate of fire, that's at 307 DPS, but I'm, I need a 3% CPU implant. So technically I did get a DPS bonus. I just need a CPU implant now. Which I don't think I have anything like that. Let's see. Boosters. Nope. Misc. Do I have anything in here? I don't think I have any CPU implants around here. Yeah, I have none around me. So 307 is the highest DPS. So I, I went from 303.2 to 307 DPS and it cost me about a billion isk. Wow, that's fantastic. That was R and Jesus hates me, man. Okay, well, today is apparently not the day the Stormbringers get an update, but I did get a few extra. Like, I got like four DPS extra. I just need a CPU implant, which I think right now, let's see. Oh, never. Wait, CPU implant. What slot is that? What slot is a CPU implant? Please tell me it's not six. It's six, isn't it? Yep. Cool. So I can't even, because I need my slot six for my Omega. So never mind. Get screwed. Can I at least replace one? So let's see. I think I got one of these that was a little bit uh Okay, so this one had good CPU. Did any of the others have good CPU? Nope, so only this one. So if I take that off and put that on, I'm at 252.6, which I'm pretty sure is less than 252.7. Wow. What's up, Phil? Is that you doing, dude? Oh my gosh, I had incredible holidays, man. Today's my last day off of work. Expensive marginal upgrades like the DoD. Hopefully your character has the, sin <laughs> has the insane budget. Oh man, just like the DoD, I like it. <laughs> or switch to high grade crystals and use slot six for CPU. I very much regret all of that just now. Like, look at this. All of these are basically, I mean, maybe I could sell them, but still. That was a waste of money. Damn it, dude. I felt really good about that today. All right. Well, now we got to make a bunch of money to make up for it. So are you happy now? All right. So how are y'all doing today? Hopefully everybody's doing a lot better than me after that failed gambling attempt. Needs more coffee. What's up, Mad Vegan? How you doing, dude? Ah. I was really, like, I, like I said, I was feeling really good about that. And it was like, yeah, today's the day I'm getting the upgrade. Cap muta right here. That's what I'm talking about, dude. That's what I'm talking about. One unstable capital mutaplasmid would just really make me happy. All right, let's go for those. All right, we got a few Damavix and whatnot to deal with. I'm hoping, let's see. Get rid of that. 
Where's that? Ah, oh, the extraction nodes. Of course, they're not next to each other. Of course, I'm not that lucky. All right, Electro Punch. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just focus on the starving. I'm not even going to screw around. Actually, you know what? No. I'm going to focus on the Vedmax because it looks like they all might be close to each other. And I was right. They're kind of close. All right. If all the Vedmax can get close to the Damavix and they can all just take damage together, I'd be so happy. Right now, I can't move. It looks like they are getting kind of close. We got this guy. All right, this guy's at 40% armor. I think some of the Damavix are taking damage. Let's see. Okay, not really. All right, well, I'm sticking with this course of action. This this is it. I have to stay because I'm already, like, committed to killing this guy. Let's see. Harrowing Vedmax. I guess, I mean, probably would be smarter to take out the starving Vedmax, but... Killing the Harrowing Vedmax. That's less damage coming my way. Let's see. There we go. One more shot and this dude's down. And we're left with one Vedmax on the grid. Okay. That. Not bad. Should be good. Oh, okay. That one's near the Damavix. Oh. If you're in the service, then you're for your service that my tax dollars really went into it if you paid for a Plex subscription. Man, you know what's funny? I pay uh, I pay taxes. I pay for part of my own paycheck. But thank you, Nuclear. I appreciate it, dude. Why overheat gun? Uh, just to be safe. Not take any chances. Not give these Vedmax a chance to really... Plus, I can overheat this thing for a hot minute. Um, I need to take those anchorings out next. Man, if I could move a little faster, this would be fantastic. All right, you know what? I'm going to go for the Tanglings next. Hopefully, all these guys go down together. I currently am going 50 meters a second. A whopping 50 meters a second. All right, I need to take out Tanglings. Let's see, Tanglings. There we go. All right, one more shot, and a bunch of these guys are going down. Come on, get them and get them there we go absolutely beautiful and of course there's one anchoring damavik left which i need to take care of promptly that way i can move and get going all right so today was a colossal failure in the sense of me upgrading the stormbringer um i was really really feeling it that was a huge colossal failure i like I think I spent like a billion is total on those mutaplasmids and did not have anything to show for it. Um, all right, now I can pop my prop mod and get moving. There we go. All right, get this extraction node. 12 million right there. Um, so basically, I need to today's make up for my failed module experiment that failed horribly, might I add again. Stormbringer, you're always hitting again. I'm always running it and hit repair. Yep, like right here, boom, repair. And that thing, like that thing's only at what? 10%? Yeah, I'll be repaired in freaking 10 seconds. Good to go. It's the beauty of the Stormbringer. Can overheat the weapon forever. The repair pace isn't that ridiculous. First room down in under five minutes. And 30 million. Hey, faction super title gun. I like it. Um, it's a little status update for y'all on what I've been doing. So getting ready for the um, Abyssal Proving Grounds come in. Not when is that happening? January 12th. So not this coming weekend, but the weekend after. My entire focus in EVE has been getting ready for the Abyssal Proving Grounds and making money to be able to afford. Well, I mean, it's only Destroyer, so it's not like it's that expensive. Uh, but I just want to be able to afford a lot of ships. So I currently have 150 ships fit and ready to go for the Abyssal Proving Ground event. Not this weekend, but the following weekend. Um, I'm going to go overheat the guns just to be safe. 
Come on, I know we can hit more than that. Oh my god, the echo. Holy webs and everything else, Batman. Alright, I, uh... Guess I'm gonna go for the cinnabol. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take down a couple of these cinnabols. This guy's already low. Sounds like a call out for you, dude. I already told. Um, I already like I have to do a monthly calendar for my job. So like, the twentieth of every month, I have to do my entire plan for the following month. Um, basically just set a calendar and a schedule, and I I already put in my calendar. Um, for Jan, that scared the shit out of me. Um. I already put my calendar for January. I'm like, hey, that weekend, I'm off. Like, I don't care what's happening. Like, I am not working. Um, normally, I have weekends off, but just to, like, solidify to make sure nothing pops up on me. Um, I went ahead and put my schedule that the weekend of January 12, 13, 14, I am off work. That way I can... Uh, really uh dive into the proving grounds and spend an entire weekend now that it's back all right i need to kill the echo next i guess i should finally take out the cinnables that way i can move my ship one-on-one -on -one is something that i've considered a rare and even proving grounds forces at least the original ones did and that's what dude one v one destroyers man it's happening starting january 12th now, to be quite honest, I guess it's not official because it's not actually in the game yet. Sean, happy new year, dude. Appreciate you. Happy, happy new year. How, what is it? Oh, it's January 2nd. Yesterday was the actual new year. I, dude, my sense of time not being at work is so messed up. All right, I no longer have that on me so I can finally move a little bit faster. Yeah, it's already freaking 1 p.m. And I'm just like uh, completely like when I'm not at work, when I have this much time off of work, my sense of time is just gone. Like I rarely know what time it is or what what day it is or whatnot. Whenever I'm not and at the office. Yeah, 1v1 destroyer proving grounds, man. 12 January. I'm stupid excited for it. The plan right now. The plan right now is a 24 hour stream. Of course, that could always change with unforeseen circumstances. But as of right now, 24 hours. What's up, my cola? Are you also streaming by Twitch? Nah, I don't do Twitch anymore. I'm not a big fan of Twitch. I. I've considered doing the the 24 hour stream on Twitch, but YouTube is so much better. It is not easy to go back. Dude. Tomorrow I gotta wake up. Well, I've been waking up early. I've been waking up relatively early. I've not been sleeping in that much. But yeah, tomorrow I gotta wake up and go to work, and I'm dreading it. Absolutely dreading it. All right, hurry up and go down, dude. What the heck? All right, there we go. That guy's down. I'm going to switch to, uh, <laughs> he got dude twitchy. Oh, oh, I had Galva Surge loaded that whole time. That was dumb. I should have had T2 ammo loaded. All right, 22 million. What the hell? Oh, poverty looks so good. You enjoying it? I'm guessing that means that means you haven't died in it and haven't had any issues. Because if you have died in it or something, you'd be like, this ship sucks. <laughs> All right, let's get repair going, Galva Surge, and go into the third and final room with 10 minutes, 26 seconds remaining. Right. Easy money. Let's see. Let's go ahead. Ooh, Snarecaster. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of the snare caster, and then I'll work on those Redivas. T3, no issues. Get real comfortable. Don't jump up to T4s till you're ready. Make sure you're nice and comfy, fully confident moving up to T4s. Um, but hell yeah, the 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 Pavertila, that thing is just like an easy, 
chill experience. I mean, it's not always, there's going to be some like, holy crap times, but uh, bring full cargo bay of Jones and T4. No prob gankers though. Gankers. Yep. There's always that. I mean, everything, th this is Eve. Everything's got to have that risk. Otherwise, you know, what's the point? But yeah, gankers, that's always something you got to be aware of. Always something. Um, yeah. How would you start off with storms? What do you mean? Like, uh, 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 like Stormbringer? Um, how would I start off with that? All right. This is crazy easy. All right. I'm getting trolled by my damn headphones right now. I'm turning the music. I'm trying to turn the dial down, but the music keeps going up. When I go T fours, there is a. Uh, oh my gosh. Um, you know what? Let me let me do this. I'm gonna cruiser Stormbringer. Oh my god! I never say. Okay, there is a cheap fit. There is a good cheap Stormbringer fit out there. Um, I gotta find. I, I know I put it in Discord. I just gotta find it. Um, but yeah, there is a good cheap Stormbringer out there that is really good if you want to start off in the Stormbringer and not spend, you know, two point whatever billion isk on this thing. Um, I don't think you need implants for T well, yeah, you don't need implants for T4s in this thing. Right. What are we looking at here? 129 million. Not the best, but I'll take it. I have all this cloak now for my runs. No more going into a gank. I have uh I have my alt. <laughs> I have my anti gank alt. Hopefully that'll be enough. I say, yeah, I'm in high sec. Woo, having facial hair. Having facial hair is itchy. Gonna sh Dude, I gotta freaking bushwhack my face tomorrow. Gotta go through and do a full shave of my face. Now looking forward to it. Like facial hair is so itchy, man, but I love it. Keeps my face nice and warm. All right, first run down. I'm still in the hole for the day. That there, that there. All right, I'm going to track how much I bring in today. Got 16 cataclysmic electrical filaments left. I good on ammo Four and four. We are good to go. Discord. Oh, I don't have the Discord link saved in my description, do I? I am really bad. I apologize. Let me get that. Copy link. And where is? I do think someone has been doing this as long as I have. Discord. There we go. There, the Discord link should now be in the description of the video. By the way, one huge favor I'll ask of you guys, if you don't care, if you could like the video, that'd be amazing. If you actually enjoy what you're watching, you want to help a, help a dude out. All right, get out of a surge. Am I alive yet? What we got? Printing is today, fellas. That is the name of the game. And that's a lot of cruisers. All right, we got, wow, nothing. Okay, this is gonna be really easy. I'm gonna go for this extraction node and then go for, all right, so let's, let me plan this. I'm gonna go for this one and then that one. Yeah, I don't have anything to worry about here. I mean, I guess I could get freaking scrammed so I can't use my mic warp drive, but Ooh, this could work out perfectly, actually. All right, let me snag this one. And I need to take out Spear Fishers next because I want to be able to use my mic warp drive. All right, let's fly through here, get that going. That guy just caught me, didn't he? All right, let's go ahead and approach that. Uh, looks like spear fishers are about to catch me and shut my mic warp drive off, but that'll be fine because I'll be able to take them out pretty quick. Damn. 
It's always good to not get uh, caught by spearfishers. That way I can kite these guys. But I tried the T5, sir, but not the implants. I wanted to test it out in T3 and T4. T4 with the implants can be hard. Do the implants do that much of a difference? Yes. Um. Yeah, you got to think like, even though it's a dark and you would think the tank would be fine, it's still just, it's, it makes you less reliant on stuff like boosters and heat, you know? How much people spend on implants? Full, I mean, I, how much is a full implant, a full mid-grade crystal set? Because I think that's the most common. How much, how much are we looking at there? A full mid-grade crystal implant set. It's like 900 mil. Could be more, could be less. I'm not too sure about it. I want to say it's like 900 mil or something like that. Okie dokie. Let me take out. Oh, okay, cool. Easy. Just these last couple dudes right here. Of course, I'm only hitting one at a time because they are all spread out. Let's go ahead and go for that guy. There we go. Hitting a few more there. I like it. All right. Really need these spearfishers that are now no warps. Full made grist. Full made grand. Tante, what's up, dude? 700 mil. A lot less than I thought. For some reason, I thought 900, but yeah, 700 mil, not bad at all. Definitely worth it just to give you that extra safety. Don't gank me, bro. Let me both, pal. <laughs> all right, give me my mic warp drive in three, two, one. Mic warp drive activated. There we go. And 11.3 mil right there. Okay, garbage. Loki, what's up? What was your fit worth and where were you running again? I don't know what you're talking about. I've got my I've got my gank protection on, okay? I've got my gank protection on. Hopefully it works. Hey bit Loki. How is it with the two times battleship spawns? I think I'm good. I think if I get those, it survives. Um I've survived it once before. So I have already guaranteed survived a double overmind spawn. I've not had it happen since it happened that one time. And I guess the scariest thing I've encountered since uh, since has been the marshals. A nasty room of marshals kind of took a big steamy shit all over me at one point. Didn't kill me, but almost killed me. All right. First room, getting out with that much time remaining. Cool, cool. Next, dude. I'm so excited for the arenas, man. The 1v1s. It's going to be badass. I am, like I said, beyond stoked. It, I've been, I mean, not only me. A lot of us have been waiting a year for this. All right. These extraction nodes might be next. Oh, look at this. Look. Hold on, let's let's stop targeting that. Let's unlock that. One, two, three, all in a row, just like that. Isn't that beautiful? All right, let's go ahead and get that. Three freaking extraction nodes in a row. That is absolutely beautiful. Makes my life a lot easier. All right, let's go ahead and pop that last extraction node. And now I get the easy job of just flying to each one of these while taking out Kiki Moras. Let's see where the Kiki Moras at. There they are. All right, let's fly to the next one. Look at that, three extractions in a row. Uh, but do you have enough ganking protection? Probably not. I mean, knowing my luck, it'll probably like a ganker show up and I'll be just slightly underneath what I need. Dude, if I get a triple benthic, if I get three overmines and one abyss, I am hiding in my closet for the rest of the day because that is the worst luck imaginable i don't remember what the odds are for getting the same exact spawn three times in a row but if you get the exact same spawn three times in a row i imagine you are the unluckiest person in the history of ever unless it's like a easy three times spawn then you're good the one view one one should be a kind of a permanent feature i think I don't think a per it being permanent would work out so well. While yet, like, you know, if Eve was as popular enough, then yes. But I don't think a one v a permanent one v one would be popular or would 
it would it would not be running all the time. You'd run in the situation where there are dead zone uh, dead zones. Dude, this guy is receiving reps like crazy. Good God. All right, I'm going to go for the Dracovac since apparently I can't break the reps. Ooh, 50 million right there. But ideally, my perfect scenario for the arenas, at least once a month. One arena a month, two would be perfect. Two Abyssal Arena events a month would be amazing. But at the very least, bare minimum, worst case scenario, one a month. Fun fact, Cat uh, Catalyst only survived two to three rounds of Electro Punt. Wait, what the hell? Seriously? I mean, you're, uh, the ship will probably die before I'm able to get that off. Do I have, what do I have loaded? Oh, I have Galva Surge loaded. Dude, I'm screwing the bed here. Uh, once a year. Did I say year? Once a month. Worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, once a month. But yeah, right now we're on one a year and it's really bad. <laughs> Yeah, one event a month, worst case scenario, best case scenario, two a month. Every other weekend is perfect. Yeah. Um, I'm kinda kinda worried because the filaments are not in game yet. Um, so it's not official um until the filaments are actually like in the game and dropping in the abyss. So just waiting for those to actually pop up. Today's Tuesday, which means it's patch day. Right? Tuesday's patch day, isn't it? So there's still a chance the arenas that are planned for January 12th don't happen. So a little alarming there. Definitely a little nerve wracking. We're so close to getting them back and it's been so long. And right here, we're on the verge of getting them back. But then at the same time, it's like, ah. all right, can y'all hurry up and just explode? Thank you. Next. I could just populate them in the market this time. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I, I think they're probably just going to stick with what they do. I mean, it's not like they're expensive commodities by any means. Um, yeah, today's Tuesday. Normally... I, I thought patch day was normally Tuesday. I could be mistaken. Ooh, two extraction nodes right next to each other. Yes, please. All right, I'm switching the Galva Surge. I am vocalizing it. That way I do not forget. I am switching the Galva Surge. We are switching the Galva Surge. I probably need to go ahead and switch to Electro Punch because these guys are getting close. All right, let me go ahead and turn heat on for a cycle. That way maybe these guys won't catch me. Hey, they didn't catch me. Sucks to suck. Nerds. Right. Now, let's go for this one. Where's this one at? All right. That one's all the way down there. This one's up here. I just need to take out all of these. Uh, ooh, that guy's almost dead. Let's go ahead and finish him off. And just like that, we are golden. T7's win. Dude, I'm pretty sure the greater Eve population, well, not greater Eve population. You know how many nerds would get so mad if, if C-Speed did anything else abyssal related? There are a lot of anti-abyssal dipshits out there. And they would have an aneurysm if something else was added. And these new gammas? God, no. <laughs> nope. Way too much EHP in gammas. Would not risk that whatsoever. The only other site these things are able to do... I don't know about Dark. I know some people have raised the question about Dark. Um, the only other site I'm aware of this ship being able to do competently is um, Exotic. Everything else is just a, hey, you know, if you do complete a site, it's luck. Gammas and Firestorms. One of the Winter Nexus boosters reduces heat damage. You can use it. I wonder if I have any of those... Turret, tracking, energy turret, afterburner speed, shield hit points, energy tracking, energy turret damage, capacitor, hate damage right there. All right, so if I get, all right, so I need to use that. I do have one of those. If I come up against a Karen or an Overmind, I have 16% heat damage boost. 
At least we don't know anyone who can four box jackdaws. Good God, four box? Sounds like too much work, man. Like I had my account set up. I was gonna multi box hawks, and I had it all set up. And I started doing it, and I was like, man, I don't want to do this. Thought about just doing some solo jackdaw action, but man, eh, rather just stick with cruisers, man. Yeah, I had multi box and all set up to go with the hawks, and I ran it. I just, I just rather not. I don't know. It's just too much effort. Not worth it. Multi boxing like the the income is good, but I mean I get I get enough income from everything else I do that I don't you know multi boxing. Eh. <sighs> Maybe I'll try it again someday, but for now I just I don't know I, I like I like having the separation that I do. Okay, we're good. Training Gustav's Nurgle Retro Deacon. See, that one sounds like more of a pain in the ass to run. I mean, I guess it would like, I guess that one probably, because he runs what, Firestorms right now? So that'd probably be more is than the, than the Hawks, but still, it's just so much effort. Plus, I think those are more like the only... The only triple boxing thing I'd want to run is the cheap box. I think that's because everything else is just so expensive. One little mistake or one little like, man, you stare at a video on the fourth monitor for too long. Then that's game. All right, we're good. We're good. Moving on. But I like just doing one single cruiser. What's up, Scarab? Happy New Year, dude. Happy, happy New Year. How was your New Year's? Oh my gosh, dude, my New Year's. Whew. My wife and I are getting a little too old to be going out and drinking and staying up till midnight. Let me just tell y'all, dude, mutated for, oh my gosh, man. Let's go ahead and let's look at, look back at how the mutated Vorton tuning systems went. Check this out. So I'm currently sitting on one on my ship, right? You got COVID one day before New Year. Holy shit, that is an awful start to 2024 for you. 2024, right? Yeah, it's 2024. Um, wow, awful start. I am sorry to hear that, dude. I have not been sick yet. I don't know how I've been this lucky. Um, and it's crazy with the amount of time I spend in high schools, you would think I'd be sick already, but apparently I've been lucky. Um... Still sick from last year. Ah, is that a new year joke? All right. Anyway, so here's what we got. Actually, you know what? Can I do this? Seriously? Wait, do I have to do them individually? All right. Apparently, we're not doing that. Because that would make too much sense. So, here's the unstable mutaplasmid roll. An extra 6.2 CPU, 0 .1, 0 0.01 on the damage, and a bad rate of fire. Honestly, this one might be... This one is a damage increase, but still. Dutz, what's up, man? How you doing, dude? Good to see you. Happy New Year's to you. Um, let's just say I, I blew a billion is today, but yeah, here's the one unstabled. All I got is the damage modifier, which I mean, when you think about it, it's still an upgrade. Um, and then let's see, gravid, gravid, decayed, decayed, decayed. Actually this one, hold up a sec, simulate. This one, where did that come from? So I'm at 303.2. If I unfit that, 303.1. Never mind, that one is a net loss in DPS. Um. Oh yeah, there's one. Rate of fire went all the way up. Freaking CPU and damage all the way down. Rate of fire and CPU took a hit. Damage went up a little bit. CPU, rate of fire down, damage up. 
CPU damage down, rate of fire, that's plus 1%. Actually, I'm curious about that. Let me see something here. So I'm at 303.2 DPS, and this is a 1% rate of fire, 304. So this one is an increase in DPS, but CPU. The CPU hit is, I've only got 1.5 CPU to play with. Actually, I wonder, did I look at, where's my good CPU roll? All right, there's the good CPU roll. That's the only one, I don't think that's gonna work. Hold up, where's the unstable? All right, let's see what happens. So I'm at 303.2. If I take both these off and put both these on, 305 minus 3.5 CPU. So yeah, overall, we've got ourselves a bunch of negative rolls. Ugh. Love it. I farmed two four hawks for a while. It's easy, it's easy good is, but uh, as you said, one five up or you lose one of them and it feels bad losing three ships, but it's cheap. Yeah, that's the only way I'm gonna multi-box if they're three cheap ones, but I just, the amount of effort required, like three accounts running three instances at the same time, like I'd rather just like, I. My, I make enough money with all the other crap that I do to where I'm like, yeah, I don't need, I mean, I don't, I don't want to put in that much effort, you know, but it is good money. I rolled four Vortons for under one bill. Three of them were God rolls. Why? So I'm getting the shit rolls. You're getting the good rolls. That's, that's awesome. I'm glad R and Jesus loves you and hates me. Fantastic. <laughs> all right, let's go print some money. Not even faction. Dude, the faction Vortons are like 3 billion. It like, I am not going to run one of those faction Vortons because at that point, like until they're like cheaper, that's not, dude, you get ganked one time. You're is negative for freaking a long time. Like until those faction Vortons are a billion isk or less. Because I think right now they're like 3 billion isk. And even if you're rich beyond stupid, it's not worth it. So what you're saying is you'd have more CPU to play with if you went back to Apex. <laughs> I love the MWD fit though. Come on. The MWD fit is so much better than the AV fit. Uh, what's up, cow? How you doing? Fold up the tour. I love it. What's up, dude? How are you doing today? I want to try dual destroyers, but I can't find anything. That's not a jack going for T5, T6. I've heard people talk about joggers. The joggers are stupid expensive, man. And I I cannot justify that. But I know people have had good good runs with joggers running T5s. I don't see it. Uh, but yeah, jack dolls are pretty much your answer. Oh, man. Okay, what do we got? I can just kind of jump. Hold on. Let me Let me... Get into destroying mode here real quick. What do I have loaded? I have Galva Surge loaded. We have Starving. All right, so we have three Vedmax, a bunch of Damavix. I'm going to go ahead and just... Is there any other extraction nodes out this way? There is not. So we're going to be at, going after this one extraction node all the way out here. Um, I'm going to make a weird decision here. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't just... I'm going to whittle away at these Damavix real quick. And then I'm gonna kind of make a decision once the Vedmax are in a better range. And I hit three Damvix with that one shot. That is garbage. Okay. There we go. Making a little bit more progress. Um, where if I, you get them from the new insurgency stuff. I don't know exactly. You run some kind of site and get some kind of item and you turn it in, I think, is the consensus on how. You had two nice XL shield booster rolls back to back. Really happy with my rolling luck. Dude, apparently y'all get the good luck and I get the shit lit. Shit luck. Oh, Jared, I just saw that. Your mom's better than the AB fit. Uh, your face is better than the AB fit. Ha! <laughs> Nerd! Gotcha. This is better than the AB fit. Yeah, that... Take that as you will. Take that as you will. What's up, Jared? How you doing, man? Dude, I gotta be honest with you, Jared. I almost did not press F1 on you when my FC called as Jared. O2 is primary. But... I listened to orders. I'm sorry. So I did press F1 on you. I think I probably pressed F2 and F3 as, as well, but I did shoot at you. Good fight, man. That was a 
What was that a week ago? How long ago was that? That felt like it was just the other day. Drunk as a skunk. <laughs> Respect. Respect. Two Kikis can do T5s as well. I tried it once and lost two Kikis. Wait. You said two. Hold on. Talk back to back. You said two Kiki can do T5 as well. I tried it once and lost two Kikis. That's contradicting statements, bud. Did they run long enough to make ISK and be ISK positive? You get the Vorton stuff in the Empire LP store. The new stuff. Oh shit, my tank. Okay, hold on. Let's uh I saw my shields dip to 50%. And my uh got the little tingling. Alright. By the way, am I any closer to this extraction node? I am not. Alright, I need to take out. Oh man. You know what? Let's let's go ahead and go ham on these Damavix real quick just to hopefully hits the Ved Max, but really I just want to be able to move my ship. So if I can just kill these Damavix real quick, bonus points if I can hit the Ved Max. All right, there's one Damavix down. And then I want to kill the Anchoring next because I really want my ship to go forward faster than 100 something meters a second. Okay, we're literally just going to hit that one guy and that's it. That's great. All right. Moving forward, uh, let's go ahead and get damage on these Ved Max. And now my ship can function properly. There we go. You get the Vorton stuff from random spawns and pirate controlled systems. They hang out in belts like clone soldiers. What are you, Villainous, what are you using those uh, shield boosters on? O2 don't, didn't die, O1 did. O2. Damn, really? I had that backwards. I was holding on until the PNI threw. Oh yeah, dude. Those freaking Phoenixes, man. Those things are nasty. You get you get range for those things to be able to apply. Whew. I think it was what, like 70, 80 kilometers? Those things were just freaking. It was the the dual 2500 plus DPS. Man, that was nasty. I rolled five grab Vorton damage. They were all max positive. I trashed them all so I could make Torvald cry. I am writing that down in my diary and crying about it tonight you suck <laughs> oh man they were uh they were loki they were faction vortons weren't they they were faction damage immunoplasmins already replaced brought see uh brought see back in the background as well as i helped seal the pni's fate dude that was a that was an insane fight man that was an insane fight. All right. This is taking me a lot longer than I would like. And we got this one special little Damavic. I'll call him Dick the Damavic. Living still. Like, homie didn't take any damage at all. Whatever. CO1 died, CO2 lived, and like 30% haul and kept getting primary. So the Apostle threw haul bots on me to rep the damage and stop me from getting primed. Damn, we did primary, but what what is it about you that my FC did not like exactly? What did you do to piss off my FC to get called? <laughs> uh, I run a T5 Gamma Ishtar with an a bit. Oh my gosh. You got the, the freaking. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's go ahead and reload that. Don't know why I didn't do that sooner. I'm not even going to deal with reloading. I'm just going to get in range of these guys real quick. Pop the loot. All right, pop the loot. And I just need to get in range. Farms. Were you really? Wow, my recollection of that fight, my memory sucks apparently. Yeah, I remember one. I didn't know both your characters were in Zarms. Good God. And over here, freaking multi box and Zarms. But, uh. Oh, you said you sent me the rolls on Discord? Let's see them. All right, I have this weird thing where in Discord, if I get a message from you, it goes into a, like. It doesn't go into my direct messages, it goes into a spam folder until I accept it. Let's check out these rolls. What you got? Ooh, damn. 
Wait, what kind of shield boosters are those? What's the base shield booster? Because those are some nice freaking roll. Holy shit, dude, that one. The one little bit of red on that shield booster is the activation time, and it's not even red. It's literally plus 0, 0.00 seconds. Damn, that's a nice freaking shield booster, dude. Activation minus 75 gigajoules. CPU. We got to turn heat off. Let's not go too crazy with that. CPU minus 14.8. Power grid minus 81. Shield bonus. Wait, 85. Why is that a comma? That is insane, dude. Those are some beautiful rolls. If someone was the solo gank you and you finished your site, what ship would you consider be fair play for your... Wait. Hold on. Let me read that a little bit more slower and with a little bit more care. Uh, with a little bit more attention. If someone was to solo gank you when you finish your site, what ship would you consider would you consider to be fair play to fight you after you finish my site? I don't think any ship because Concord's going to erase any. I don't think any singular ship is going to put out the DPS to be able to gank me before Concord shows up and kicks the ass. <sighs> 1v1, I'd lose against anything, but with Concord, Concord's going to save me. T2 XL. Okay, it's a T2. Still, though, that's a damn like. That roll right there is like, that's like dead space level good. 1400 BS with a damage minus might come close. All right, is this, okay, this is the final room. So I don't need to worry about, this is normally the spot where I'd panic like, oh my God, it's over mine. But I'm in the final room with 11 minutes remaining and it's a 70% EM resistance penalty so i am not worried about this should i be i don't know man but i am not i don't have any yeah i'm not worried about this got plenty of time remaining yeah 126 million Beautiful. All right, let's try that again where I actually scoop the damn loot. Eat the heat drugs. Dude, I don't even think I, I don't need the heat drugs because I'm in the final room and I got plenty of time left, you know? Like, if I... Okay, you know what? Let's... Let me grab this damn loot. Stop screwing around and get in range of that, dude. Like, if I was in room number two, I'd probably eat the heat drugs. But for right now, I'm like, I'm safe. 183 million isk in loot. Burger, even with Bastion, had it has a damage bonus. Bastion helps rate of fire, not damage. Oh, so it's a question of... I wonder if a... Uh, um... Lost my train of thought. Yeah, completely lost my train of thought. Cool. So there we were. All right, then. What we got? Yeah, this thing can eat forever. So like, because I'm in the final room and I've got nine and a half minutes and not a lot of heat, I'm just, I'm just chilling. Just gonna take this guy out. Um, honestly, where are these guys? Are these guys balled up? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of pop that dude real quick. I'm just gonna take out these guys real quick just to get that extra pain off me. All right, one more shot and they're all dead. Maybe not. Okay, well, I'm still hitting this dude even though. All right, I'll be right back dudes. I... I need to go get some water, so I'll be right back.
All right. What is this guy at? He is at 61% armor. We've got 750 left. My guns are at 39% damage. I'm going to go ahead and turn heat off there while I go pee real quick. I'll be right back. new soap my wife and I bought over the weekend smells weird. I don't like it. Alright, what are we at? 41% damage. Let's see, let's go ahead and turn that heat back on. I've got 6 minutes 40 seconds. CSSU, what's up dude? How's it going? Good old H2O. <sighs> yeah, no, his armor is... Am I... Okay, I do have Electro Punch loaded. Cool. He damaged that 45%. And there we were, just chilling. Uh, I'll just run the heat up, because this is the final room. And we are golden. So, how's everyone doing today? Second day of 2024. We all still chugging along. Things going great. Oh, what are we at? 49% heat damage. I'll tell you what, this song is uh Let's go I'm gonna I'm gonna find a different station. Let's do find a different music station to listen to. Spins, trap, gamers lounge. What's that? <laughs> I said that's because it's a jar of mayonnaise, not soap. <laughs> Ah, uh, the funny thing is, we buy mayonnaise in bulk also. <laughs> and I just used it this morning to make a sandwich. Oh, uh, that's actually, it's just a lot funnier than you think it is, just because, like, that's one of the few that, like, I'm done. I assume you've been very busy. Sometimes you don't answer DMs. Fine by me. Dude, I have a horrible habit. Basically, what happens, and I get in trouble with this a lot with my job as well. I will get a message. I, I have a hard time keeping up with the messages. messages. It's it's like, it is the most annoying damn thing. They're just like, like to forget about stuff. But uh, basically what happens is like, okay, I'll be in the middle of doing something, right? And I will get a message and I will click on it and, and read it. Or I'll be like clicking through stuff. And then like, instead of being, you know, cause you can't, sometimes I'm like busy and can't respond right there. And then I freaking get distracted and other things happen. Um, but something, and this has been a really bad habit. I got something in my damn eye. It's been a really bad habit of mine. And I think my job has made this worse. Like I have become like anti responsive because of my damn job. Like people just demand so damn much of me. Like I had someone calling and texting me on Christmas to ask about joining the air force on Christmas. Like I know, you know, my job is a recruiter, but I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm building up this like extreme dislike and it's just, it's cause of this damn job, dude, people like people think they can just like message me 24 seven. Like some people message me in the middle of the night or wow, this got really close actually. Uh, but it's just like making me like resent messaging and like responding to people and it's like affecting me. 
that sound bad? That probably sounds bad. But like, I've always been notorious for not answering messages or my phone. And this job is just making it that much worse on me. All right, let me get out of here. Yeah, I had a, I had some kid calling and texting my government phone on Christmas because they want to join the Air Force. And I'm like, dude, it's Christmas, man. Like, I'm at home with my family. Dude, I got something in my damn eye. Holy crap. Can you join the Air Force? Hell yeah, get on in. Come on in. Let's get you. Ah. Uh. Now, see, one of my problems... When did you message me, CSSU? Like I said, one of my problems is, like, I will freaking... Like I said, I'll either look at my... Like, I've been really bad about checking my messages. Like, I'll go... On average, I go about three or four days. Like, I... I'm so weird about this. I pick random days. Like, yesterday, I went through and I checked all my Facebook messages. And I've not checked my Facebook messages in 12 days. A um, couple days before that, I went through and checked all Instagram because I just so many messaging things, dude. Still good on Eve game time, dude. When was it that you gifted all that game time? Because I think that. Let's see. My character's good until September of this year. Holy shit, we are in 2024. My character's good till September of 2024. So, still good on game time. I've got a nice system. All right, let's drop all this, all that, all that, and that. How much is that? 183? All right. Um, there we go. Did I repair my ship? Okay. Um, my malediction's like crazy. Hey, man, a good malediction pilot can turn the tide of a fight real fast. Can I join the Air Force? Hell, oh, y'all want to join the Air Force? I'll be your recruiter. Come on in. I'd be a pro Air Force pilot. Flying Navy should be considered service. Oh my gosh, no kidding. Are you active guard or I'm active uh, active recruiter? Active duty Air Force recruiter. I think it was like two years ago, maybe three. Then you got CSM, got another year of gain time. Holy shit, that's right. Dude. All right, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I got something in my eye. It's driving me crazy. Oh, why don't you have one container, one container that says Abyssal Loot instead of dropping shit everywhere? Because... That would make way too much damn sense, and I don't know if you're aware of where you're at right now, but we don't do that here. Chair <laughs> oh, Dude, I'll tell you what, man. I miss my old job. I, like, It's funny. The, the job I did in the Air Force for nine years, I always like thought, man, it'd be nice to like you know work a nice, comfy desk job. I miss my other job. Working a desk job sucks. I-Force. <laughs> Uh, fun fact, Air Force did give me eye surgery, though. Lasered the hell out of my eyes, and it was awesome. Now I have perfect vision without glasses. Dude, I wore, I've worn glasses since I was seven years old. And I had laser eye. Okay, Karen, what is up, lady? Um, Let's see. Get this way. All right, we've got Karen and Dissipators. What else do we have? We have one Entangler. I just need to worry about that one Entangler, and I'm good to go. All right, let's get that loaded. Where's that Entangler? Entangler is right there. Holy crap, these clouds are blinding. Karen, I've hit a speed cloud. Come here, you. Oh, okay, that speed cloud. I overshot Karen a little bit with the speed cloud, but that's okay. My ship will turn around momentarily. Turn around, jackass. All right, there we go. Let's orbit Karen at 500. I need to keep her out of that speed cloud because Karen in a speed cloud is not a good time for anybody. 
Um, let's go ahead and orbit her at 500. Okay. So I want to keep Karen out of the speed cloud for sure. I would really like these. Don't tell me you're going to that speed cloud. Stay. All right. You know what? We're going to. I'm going to get out of this blue cloud for a second. Hold on. Let's let's go right here. All right. I'm in between clouds. Look right here. We got a blue cloud to my right and a speed cloud to my left. All right. Um, right. I'm going to skirt this. Ah, you know what? Screw it. We're just going to go and get on top of Karen and get real nice and close and gushy with her. <gasps> Come here, Karen. <sighs> Doesn't help the fact that we're listening to baby making music. Um, sorry, I'm not been. Uh, I've not been reading. So focused on getting this big wench dead. All right, there we go. Things are dying. Cool. Um, I am Salda Turn if you're searching DMs at some point. I know. I know who you are, dude. And not just because we've shot at each other in the in the freaking war zone. I know you. If you join Space Force, uh, do you become a general? No, you become a guardian. Like in the Air Force, I'm an airman. If you join the Space Force, you be, you're a guardian. Oh God, don't let Karen get into the cloud. It's such a pain in the butt to get her out. Yeah, I know. Right here, I want to keep her. What, what is this piano? Damn, she just hit me real good. I don't know. We're going to have to change the music. I don't know why there's a piano gracing my eardrums right now. It's kind of off-putting. Um, yeah, this playlist is kind of strange. I, I, I got to switch that. I don't know what the hell. Oh, ah, it got louder. All right, let's do EDM. Let's try that. Where is the loot? Let's get Karen on the loot. Oh, you know what? I should have taken those freaking overheating boosters. Actually, no, we do not want. I, I want Karen to fly. All right, so I'm going to go grab the loot real quick. I'm going to go ahead and stop my ship because I'm going to be in a speed cloud any minute now. All right, Karen, you stay right there. I'm going to go for the loot. Don't go anywhere. What was your previous AFC? Didn't hear you already said. My wife is 38F active and I'm an army combat engineer. Damn, army combat engineer. That's awesome, man. That is a cool. I just get one of those cool freaking jobs. Okay, so not really similar. What? You, your wife is 38F? What is that? Um, I was a munition systems um, ammo. I think army calls it the same thing. But yeah, I did nine years in ammo before. Uh, before being selected for recruiting duty. And so now I'm recruiting and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh man. Good old recruiting duty. It's going to be the death of me. You only think, you know, you know what I do. I have other plans other than messing with pointless bickering FCs and faction warfare. Pointless bickering FCs. Is there some fun going on over there? I've heard little bits and pieces of, uh, different leaders from different groups acting certain ways. But I've not been as active in faction warfare as I could be. I flew 5T6 now and only made I flew 5T6 and only made ISK. That's good. That's, that's the whole point of what you're doing, right? <laughs> I don't know. I, I gotta see how much I've made. I gotta check on that. After losing all the money I did earlier today on rolling up Vorton tuning systems, I definitely am in the market for needing isk. Not like needing isk, like I'm broke, but like I need, you know, got to restock my stash. All right. I don't really know what I'm going to shoot at here because there's a lot of targets. Oh, minus the, 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 the dash wasn't a dash it was a minus and that is stupid obvious now that i'm looking at it but apparently when i said it like three or four you know or one minute ago it was not obvious so 
That's the boat we're in right now. Glad we could do this together. Ah, <sighs> man. One of these days, I'll be able to read like a pro, but that is not today. I mean, no, uh, you'll come to help Ukraine with 38F. What is, what's 38F? She is an FFS commander. Oh, got you. Okay. She's officer side. She's one of the really smart people. Man, she's an FFS commander. Wait, FFS. For some reason, I was thinking FSS, but fighter. I forget what FFS is. HRLT. Damn, that's the good life, dude. That is the good life. Being a freaking. I've thought about going the officer route. I've thought about it, but it's just I'm so close to my bachelor's, but I don't know if I want to be an officer. I've got nine years to go. I can tell when something is about to fall apart weeks in advance. I'm a strategist, uh, strategist, not a drama queen. I have not. You know what's crazy? I have not really been. Hold on. How? Let, let's see something here. I have not been paying very much attention. Empire. I want to see the map. Oh, here we go. All right. Let me. How do I make this smaller? There we go. That's what she said. Um. Um. Let's see here. So here's Vlu. Oix is at sixty percent. Ehas at. Okay, so we're we're kind of in a lull right now. With uh, I haven't been really paying attention to Oix, Eha, Ninamalia, or Ulgenet, but Oix is getting up there. Oh snap! Oix is getting up there. I've been very inactive in faction warfare lately. It's kind of embarrassing. Hmm, DQ, Dairy Queen, or disqualified. One of those is really happy. The other is kind of really sad. Wild adaptive cash. Um, I need to take out these two. Can I hit both of them? Nope. We're just gonna hit one at a time. Perfect. Absolutely love only hitting one in NPC at a time. So much fun. Recruit you for Galente Faction Warfare. Come join in on Galente Faction. What are you doing? We've got Sedition Alliance. We've got the Frog Pond. We've got the best of the best. We are Galente. Just come join the winning side, the better side, the superior side, the, yeah, the frogs. Would you rather be a frog or a squid? Officer and enlisted forbidden love. We met. <laughs> oh, man. Officer and enlisted. Nah, two different branches. You guys are good. I don't think that that rule doesn't apply unless you're in each other's direct chain of command or something, right? Probably know this. We met before she started to become an officer in case I was in the chat. Pirate side. Nah, screw pirate side, man. Blasters are way better than missiles. That is that right there is the selling point. Blasters are better than missiles. So come join Galante. Minmill has the best propaganda. That is true. Minmill is on point with their propaganda. Like, Minmill's propaganda is out of this world. They put those little, like, news articles up on Reddit. I don't know what else they do uh, propaganda-wise. I just know I've seen a bunch of stuff on Reddit from them. It's like, oh, my God, y'all are badasses. And we have cookies if you join pirates. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You said CSS, you... You said we have cut your. Did, did you go pirate? Are, are you a pirate? How long have I been at it? Okay, it's almost 2 p.m. Sense of time is just. Whoa! Well, fun. Little known fact you can use blasters to blast some nerds. Blasters do indeed, in fact, respectively, blast nerds. If you did not know that, they are the best at what they do. That's why you should join Galente. We've got blasters. Pew, pew. Right, I'm going to be a little less weird about it. 
Maybe if I didn't make the weird, awkward noises like pew, pew, it might entice you to join a little bit more. So, or who knows? Maybe, maybe, it, I, I don't know. Let's see what recruiting method works the best. You would think being a real life recruiter would help me recruit in game, but nah. All right, let's see here. We got Dracovax, four days. Um, Let's see. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, we're just going to, I'm going to obliterate these Dracovax. Because um, these guys are quite annoying with their remote reps. And they actually keep the Kikimoras alive longer than I would like them to. So we're just going to blast the Dracovax. We're going to get 12 million from the... All right, I'm going to go for the extraction node script. I've got time. Oh, there's anchoring Damavix. Damn it. All right. Anyway, I've got plenty of time left, so I'm going to go for these two. Had I known there were anchoring Damavix earlier, I would have not flown directly into them, but here we are. All right, Drake of X are friendly going down. Let's, man, going faster would be fantastic if I'm being honest. All right, one Drake of X left. You know what? Let's go ahead and pop this Kiki more real quick if we can. not Oh, that was beautiful. Did you see that? They both just went down. All right, uh, we'll take out the anchorings and get on with our lives. Technically, Kaudari has blasters too. Shit. That damn rock, isn't it? Well, I guess, yeah. That's true. There are many ways to be a pirate. There's market pirate, PVP, faction warfare, the list goes on. I'm pretty sure there's probably mining pirates. <sighs> Is that how you do it? Pew, 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 join the Air Force. Gets the kids every time. What? The main difference is missile and drones. Drones are better than missiles, okay? What? All right, now my warp drive is on. I've got plenty of time to go grab these. We are good to go. All right, let me go ahead and like, let me go ahead and fix my original statement. Glente's the best. Go Glente, they are superior. Why? Because everything. Cooler ships. Better pilots. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. All right. Let's grab this extraction node. I guess I could, I could go ahead and finish this guy off, right? Let's see. Let's go down this way. And over here. All right. Now I got to lie. This playlist is weird as shit. Drones are better than missiles, says the Air Force recruiter when an MQ-9 Reaper drone uses missiles. It's like the best of both worlds. It's a drone that uses missiles? Man! All right, I can't do this playlist. Whatever this sound is, is not it. Okay, let's... Uh... All right, back to the original playlist. We're going to just keep it OG in here because... When I switch it up, I get weird songs. Just gonna keep it, keep it cool. Uh, all right. There's better content wherever you go. Either it's low sec, high sec, or star is better than null sec. Dude, low sec is the best, man. I, I am. I'm like convinced low sec is the best place for action and content. Like overall, especially lately, um, especially like just this past couple months, it has been popping. Like shit's been hot from like one V one small fleet skirmishes to gigantic battles. It's been insane. Ribbit, what's up, dude? How are you doing today? Happy New Year to you. Hey, long time since you've seen the live stream. 
I don't get to live stream as often as I would like. I'm only able to right now and like, you know, recently because I've been off work for a while, but it feels nice to get some, uh, get some good, good streaming time in. Glad you could join. All right, let's get that, that, and that. Put these here. All right, so let's do a progress check here. I have been at it for an hour and 29 minutes and I have 616 million isk in loot. Not gonna lie, that's pretty pathetic, especially because we're running T6 electricals and these filaments are not cheap. So we gotta get those rookie numbers up. Oh, gotta get those numbers up. I need to make at least a billion in loot. Honestly, I need 1.5 bill in loot minimum to make up for those shitly rolled mut mutated Vorton tuning systems. What are you doing? All right. Let's go. Let's get ready to rumble. What we got? You know what I haven't had in a while? Okay, I was about to say, do I say it? I have not had double overmind in a while and I'm kind of wanting to see it happen, honestly. Especially with the, uh, I mean, I guess that, that probably sounds pretty freaking stupid saying I want to see double overmind. But I just want to, I just want to see if this, if that one time was a fluke or if it can work. Too bad there's no space America. There's space France, space Japan mixed with Finland, but no space. Wait, what is space? France or space Japan what, what is that what's the ship fit and cost I think right now it's like a little over three billion um the prices jumped up originally when I bought it this this fit and everything was worth like 2.5 billion something like that but the prices jumped up quite a bit to where it's like over three billion I imagine right now yeah the faction Vorton price I looked at dude that it it's like three billion is for a faction Vorton multiplier or uh, tuning system. All right, let's do. Let's see. Let's get. Let's get this guy next. I should give whoever has been taking uh, tanking the market into Dixie and Metal for attempting to crash their market. Wait, they've been tanking the market? How so? Like, what are they doing? Oh, that, uh, I was like, what are you talking about? That makes sense. That makes sense. Space America. Yeah, there's like, it's so funny how you can categorize the different groups in EVE. Like, you can see what they are. Holiday block leave. Dude, I've, I've been... I've been off since the 22nd of December. I went in twice last. No, I went in once last week. Dude, it's so cool because my job, like, I never realized how much of a bonus this is for a job, but I have a government laptop and all my work is done on that laptop and I can do my work wherever I want. So, like, literally, I can I can work from home. Like, obviously, you know, if I need to meet in person with people and, you know, people join in the Air Force and whatnot, I have to go meet them in person in my office. But, like, there's a lot of stuff I can do from home. So, like, I was off work last week, but I went into the office for, like, a couple hours just to send the kid the maps and get some other stuff done. Um, But I, I was just, like, chilling at home. Even though I was off work, I was still doing work. And I was just, like, sitting at home on my couch with my laptop just, like, making my life easier basically like basically getting ahead that way when i go back to work tomorrow i'm not as swamped with a bunch of shit and it's just so nice like i never realized how much I, I i want that in a job but being able to like work from home is amazing i survived a double potato with pyro four dude i've got my i've got my pyro four i've got some other boosters here to take just in case Calente is Space America that just happens to speak French. <sighs> I guess, I mean, I guess the, well, no, the Amar would be like the ultra religious people. All right, what was that? First room? Yeah, that was first room. Ilo so high has been going for weeks. 
Matt, what's up, dude? How you doing today? I don't know why I had to literally screech your name, but Kata, what's up? What's up? How you been? All right, uh, let's get that going. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep T2. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the T2 ammo loaded. Let's do that. As soon as these guys get in range, bada bing, bada boom, and there we go. Damage rains down upon them. Let's say multinational for Mar. Yeah, that sounds, yeah, multinational. The religious group, multinational religious group. Um, ah, I lost the Ishtar. Damn, what'd you lose it to? Was it just like a room that got the better of you or just a slight lapse in uh, attention or what? The French share a lot of origin, but Glente is definitely French. Shared values with France might cause the coalition with, might cause the conflation with America. Mars, like Rome, Italy. Oh yeah, like the Vatican. Let's do some wormhole ratting. Man, I, the one thing holding me back from wormhole stuff is the amount of things you have to do. Like, that's why, why I really love abyssals is because the, like, I can just hop on, undock, run an abyssal, and that's it. I don't have to do really anything else. Don't have to do any prep work or anything like that, other than make sure I have the filament. Um, But, what am I doing? Yeah, I just, it's, it's hard to want to, you know, the amount of time and effort required for wormhole stuff, I feel is difficult for me. Like maybe if I had a dedicated alt or something that lived in one, but then that's another account I got to have or another character I got to throw it, you know? So I just, I've determined wormhole life is just not for me. I don't know if there was a nice way to just like kind of, uh, even then you have to do like all the prep work and whatnot. It's not like you just log in and wormhole rat. Oh, let's see. Okay. All right. What am I looking at here? 86 million. Um, one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to sell all my T5, all these chaotic electrical filaments I have. I'm going to sell them. Lorenz, what's up, man? Um, How many Omegas do I have? I have eight accounts Omega right now. Yeah, I have eight Omega accounts currently. I'm trying to think, because yeah, yeah, it's eight because I just renewed another one. All right, let's see here. It's a lot going on here. A lot of cruisers. I'm gonna go. Okay, this is perfect. I'm gonna go for this extraction node while electrocu electrocuting all these. Cruisers, they're gonna ball up because they're chasing me like that, right? Beautiful. All right, and what we got next? Let's do. Well, let's get rid of that guy next. Beautiful. All right, next, I need to get rid of some of these spear fishers. All right, honestly, I need to. Okay, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that. You guys gonna stay in range? Cool, they're gonna stay in range. Neato. All right. Just gotta snag this real quick and then we are good to go. We got nine million right there. All right, now I just gotta burn the last of these guys down. I guess uh, probably could have avoid, avoided a situation where I'm flying directly at them, but they're gonna fly past me. So even if the spearfishers do catch me, which apparently they are not. Okay, cool. I like that. That's a good situation for me. Look at that, all balled up and chasing me and stuff. Eaten electricity. Whew. Easy money. And then there was one left. That's what I like to see. I've got a whopping 11 minutes, 25 seconds remaining. 
Gonna go into the final room with so much time remaining. And what we got? 41 minutes. Ah, I got a decayed capital mutaplasma there, man. Tesla coils for weapons make Edison roll in his grave. Thank you, Edison, for the electricity. <laughs> All right, third and final room. What do we got? Oh, that was the last room. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was like, I, I thought I was in the second room. That was the third and final room. Okay. Walked out of there with 137 million isk. Probably made by Elon and need to recharge every two hours. From the Tesla to the Stormbringer, I like it. All right. I really need a, um, I need a big paying room. I need like a freaking just absolute money printing, uh, money printing run. Cause all these have been pretty average at like 130 million is. I need one run to just get me like 500 mil or something just to really, you know, push that average. Like, you know, what just happened? Okay. Um, yeah, I just need one really good run just to push like, cause right now I'm sitting at an hour and 40 minutes, 750 million is. So if I could just get one really awesome run, I've got 12 filaments left. What time is it? it is 216. I've got time to just one, like I said, one really good run, man. That's all I need. But I'm almost out of the, the isk hole after that little incident earlier with the bad Vorton rolls. So there's that. There's something to look forward to. Okay. Next. Let's see it. And what's it going to be? <laughs> Le sex. I love the sex. Mm, good. All right. I just got to get in range of them. Whoa. A little bit of lag there. That was kind of freaky. All right. We're going to go ahead and fire at the starving Le Shax. And just like that, we are going to be done with this encounter momentarily. I'm going to go ahead and go for this extraction node because why not? Probably could have planned that better and went for the bioadaptive cache first, but. All right, we're gonna hit a world record here. Fastest abyssal completion time, first room done. We still, we are only at 19 minutes, 10 seconds remaining. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Every time you hear a conch in your neighborhood at 3 a.m., you would tell tell me and but what the hell <laughs> what we got 41 million isk all right next ah that took just over a minute to do that room did i have gavel surge loaded really i've really got to start paying more attention to my ammo like the amount of times i've had gavel surge loaded when i should have had or you know vice versa it's getting really old All right, what we got here? Okay, well, this isn't going to be as bad as that one time where I almost died. All right. Go ahead and start popping off at this dude. I'm going to go for this extraction node because it's right here. So why not? Damn, I'm really about to be out of range of these guys, aren't I? 
All right, I should probably stop screwing around with the, the little dudes and, you know, probably go for the battleships that do a lot of damage. You know, that might be a good idea. I don't know. Hansi, what's up, dude? How you doing? Good. What is it? Afternoon. It is 2 p.m. here where I'm at. It's a good afternoon to you. Happy New Year's. See how long it takes me to get used to it being 2024. All right, one more electric shock and all these battleships are going down, right? Okay, one more electric shock and most of them electric shock and all but one. I will take it. All right, let me get that extraction node. Let's go ahead and get T2 ammo loaded on this guy. All right, you. All that for 3.9 mil, okay. All right, go for the bioadaptive cash. Take that guy out. I need to get damage on this dude. Just finish this marshal. Cause he is basically almost dead. What do these guys do? Okay, these guys do thermal damage. That's what it is. New year, new me. Can't wait. Dude, 1v1 destroyer event. Hell yeah, man. I, uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous because here we are. It is January 2nd and the filaments are still not available and the event is not official other than what's been put on CC. Little nervous about that, but I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna let that, just, it, it's gonna happen. I know it. Ooh, 100 million right there. Cool. I like ISK. 100 million ISK in that box. Give me, give me, thank you, thank you. Most of that was mostly filaments. What is that? 72 million isk and filaments alone. All right, I'm gonna orbit the gate. Yeah, 1v1 destroyer event. I'm, I'm gonna guess, it, I, I'm, I'm imagining they're just, you know, the holidays, they're a little behind. But I'm so ready for the 1v1 destroyer event. Like I cannot freaking wait for the 1v1 destroyer event. I currently have 150 destroyers fit up and ready to go for the action. And I'm so damn excited. Uh, not this weekend, but next weekend it's going down. Mm. Cannot wait. And then I think after that, it's a, um, you think they'll open the event after winter event is done? So right now, as far as we know, the, um, that's a weird counter layout right now. From what we know, the PVP event starts on the 12th and ends on the 15th. Starts on the 12th ends on the 15th. Um, that's as far as we know. So as far as restrictions go, there is a uh, meta level five restriction. Um, so implants have meta levels. So you can't use any slot um, one through five, but you can use implants that are, uh, we'll kind of go into it more, but yeah, they're, where are these at? That's there. All right, I'm gonna go for those. Ooh, especially being in a speed cloud, hell yeah. Oh, catapult me there. Um, so yeah, uh, implants are allowed, boosters are allowed, but there is a limit on what kind of implants and boosters you can use. It's not like you can go in there with a full high grade set or anything crazy like that. All right, let me fly up and around this rock, apparently. Dude, look at this. This is like the best T6 ever. I'm gonna pop this extraction dough. That'll get both those extraction dough's right. Hell yeah. Yeah, Meta 5, so you can use T2 modules. Um, implants, you can't use anything. Like if you look at the, if you look at an implant, uh, so like I said, you can't use any slot one through five. Uh, implants, but if you look at any of the slots six through ten, um, if it's got a meta level of five or hot or of six or higher, you can't use it. So I think that's all like the uh, here, let's do this. It says tech level one, maybe I'm an idiot.
Okay. Okay. So there's no limit. You can't use slots one through five. That's you can't use slots one through five, but you can use slot six through 10 for implants. Uh, one through five. Yeah. There we go. So you can use, I mean, I guess if you really wanted to, you could use 5% implants. Um, that's really risky and crazy to do in a destroyer, but I guess we'll see what people are feeling like. Uh, boosters, you can use some pretty nice boosters. You can use 5% implant, 5% implants. And, yep. Um, so let's see. Okay, so Pyrolancia dose 4, you can't use because it's a metal level of 6. So no Pyrolancia dose 4, but you can use the Pyrolancia dose 3. Um, again, though, cost effectiveness. Um, we are talking about destroyer fits, you know, T1 destroyers. And people will most likely pod you um, just because it's PvP and it's to be expected. Dude, I just completed this T6 in like eight minutes. Ah, 31 mil right there. Still, though, this so this site. Eight minutes, 196 million is in loot. That's the way. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I like it. Give me another site like that. Damn. Almost made 200 million esque on that one. Yeah, that was a quick site. Getting that other film is nice. We killed Jar in a 500 mil pot in some event. Oh, dude. There used to be um there used to not be a limitation on pods, but now pot or now implants, they have a restriction. So you can't come up against people like you. You're not going to come up against, you know, someone in a full high grade pod or something like that. Um, but you could still people can still use some pretty uppity boosters. Um, let's see standard, I think. Yeah, you can use standard you can use strong. Okay, you can't use strong, but you can use standard. All right, let's do another. All right, ships repaired. We're good on ammo. There's some stupid fast clear times. Try signing to get one of those and the Stormbringer. It either does it really well or does it not so well at all. It it's a toss up. Oh yeah, the high grade crystal moa. Yep. The very first Abyssal Arena event. Modules were not limited. Yeah, these arenas have come a long way. I just, I cannot express how excited I am for these events, man. It has been over a year. Or it's been almost a year exactly since the last arena. And I am beyond excited that they're coming back. It has been too freaking long, man. All right, what we got? Oh my gosh, yeah, another Lashak room. Hell yeah. All right, let's go ahead and start destroying these dudes. Oh, I'm going to go for all these extraction nodes. Look at that. Look, I'm able to take out these Lashaks. F1. All these extraction nodes are right next to each other. You see that? So, boom, all the MP... Okay, I guess not all the NPCs are dead. But look. These extraction nodes. Oh, my God, that is amazing. I love it. All right, let's go grab these two. Look at that. I'm already done with this room. I just need to run, grab the loot. So we'll grab that one, then that one. Right? Yeah, we'll, we'll do it this way. Don't need that running. All right, there's 7 million right there. Grab this. What's the difference between arena and standard? So in the arena, ah, oh, that one was empty, of course. Um, In the arena, it is you and one other person. There's no third party. There's no like you and there's no running away. There's no like... 
one of the issues I have with Eve, and I know, you know, everyone, people have different mindsets, but in my, in my opinion, one thing that I don't like about PVP and Eve is for the most part, people can decide whether or not to take engagements. So like in faction warfare, if I'm running around in a thrasher and I find another thrasher in a complex, both me and that thrasher, as long as we're both paying attention, have the ability to determine whether or not we want to fight each other. But then there's also the extra aspect of, you know, other people. So that thrasher that's in there, he could have five buddies waiting to jump on me the minute I attack him. The arenas take out all the extra shit. And it's just pure PVP. Like there is nothing else. It is you and that person locked in an arena and either one of you are coming out or neither of you are coming out. Just move that T5 and passive Gila rooms and a limit test for long. Um, dude, honestly, I'll say in a passive Gila, Triglavian rooms can be really tough. Triglavians and Eden Com rooms are the tests. All right, what we got? Okay, another. I'm just gonna go through that. Um, yeah, that's like that's one thing I really enjoy about arenas. It takes everything else out of the equation, and it is literally just you and whoever's in that arena no have no worrying about people deciding whether or not to take a fight no worrying about other people coming in and ruining a good fight yep mad max two go in one comes out well there's also um the other event coming up ah, 30 million um the other event coming up at the end of january is a four-man free-for-all Four men, four pilots enter one. Well, I guess all of them could die because if you don't destroy each other within the allotted time frame, everyone explodes. Uh, but uh, free for all, four man free for all is the next event after this upcoming one. All right, let's see. Let's go for that guy next. In the arena, do you get their loot? And is that the SQ make or do you, or do they sweeten the pot? So there's three different forms of income from the Abyss Arena. One, the loot you get from the person you destroyed. And this is if you win. Uh, one, and this is just the destroyer event. So one, the loot you get from the guy you destroyed. Two, there is a bioadaptive cache. So if you win, the loot opens up and you get that. That's on average 30 million isk. Um, on average, give or take, you know, obviously average, it could be way more, it could be way less, but average 30 million isk. Um, and then the third thing, if you get within the top 100, you get 100 million isk, 250,000 skill points and skins that are only obtainable through this event like you can't buy the skins there's no other way to get these skins you can only get them from being in the top 100 um and the the leaderboard is right here so once the event pops up you'll be able to see um you definitely got to put some time into this um yeah those are the three different ways you can make money if you win your fights Apart from that rewards for progress, or is it just PvP? Yeah, there okay. I need you to run into Jaro Okay. <laughs> then you run into Flisker. Good times. I still have a combat suit. 40. Damn. Is it worth that much? Yeah, deny it's it's really good. It's if you are good at PvP and you're winning your fights, obviously there's a sort of rock, paper, scissors effect, depending on what you come up against. But if you're winning in the arena, you're making money. All right, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. But yeah, I just, I, nothing, there's nothing I love any more than the Abyssal Proving Grounds. It is just the most, it, it's basically, it's, it's like a tournament. It's like a, it's a, it's just pure PVP. All right, third and final room. I've got 13 minutes, 40 seconds remaining. You had your highest. Dude, same here. Same here. What? Oh, shit. Okay. 
Do I have loaded? Oh my god, I have Electro Punch. Alright, I'm gonna fly this way a little bit. Alright, I need to be ready in case their missiles really start hurt me. I need to be ready to jump on that heat. I think I should be good. Alright, I don't think I need the heat. Oh, there's the web. Okay, let's go ahead and heat those. Heat that. One cycle. God, die quicker, man. What the heck? <sighs> All right, I just need this last guy to die. Come on, go down, go down, go down. Thank you. Okay. Whew. God, that is butt puckering, man. I swear. Those battleships are no freaking joke. Whew. Son of a... And I'm still taking a decent amount of damage here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pop that. That's always scary, man. That's always just terrifying. All right. Well, moving on. Like, that's... That's three battleships, and they almost, like, I, I mean, I could have taken my, my boosters if I needed them, but it probably would have been a better call to just go ahead and take the boosters just to be safe. Oh, my gosh, man. All right, let's go this way. What is this? Okay, this is the third and final room. Cool. We're good. We are good. You have 1,800 T2 guns ready to go. Yeah, I will tell you off. You are interested in uh, participating in the Abyssal Arena coming up in two weeks. Start stocking up now. Do not wait until event weekend. Start stocking up on weapons, module, or yeah, modules, ships, all that. Because this stuff can get expensive during events. It, it's not going to be so bad because it's just T1 uh, destroyer hulls and small t2 weapons and modules but i mean i would just just to be safe i i would advise just being prepared and stocking up now otherwise you'll be paying uh, a convenience tax i like that i like that uh that phrase you'll be paying a convenience tax the weekend of Come on, give me the loot. Ah, 45 mil. Suck it. This is a crap run. 140 million. I mean, I guess it's average. I Man, I just pay triple for my ship's modules. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, there's that. You can do that. Yeah. Small T2 guns going into production right now. Smart move. The, uh, the smart market people out there, y'all can really make some money off uh, an abyssal weekend. Actually, here, let's see if this information is still available. So this was. How do I see for the past year? How do I change this to see the past, the past year? Can I really not check? Okay. Well, never mind. Only sucks when Jita runs out of T2 rigs and you have to leave Jita. Oh, yeah, stock up on that stuff, dude. The T2 rigs. God, those things are expensive, man. I didn't realize. I thought I was just going to do all T1 rigs, but one of my fit had T2 rigs in it, and it was expensive. What do you think is the number one destroyer that we use in the event? Dude, I don't know, man. 
Tau Wars, Koraxes, Dragoons, and Algos. Between those four ships, I mean, I could be wrong, but one, it's going to be one of those four ships, I imagine. Where did I just put... All right, what am I at right now? 900. Good God, really? Oh, I think I put some. Uh, I've, I've mixed up some of my loot, didn't I? Go to market data. Do I have it? Do I? Wait, where's it at? Jumps. I don't know how market stuff works, man. Uh, come again. Is it because I'm not in Jita and I'm all the way out here? Is that why that information is so limited? That's weird. Oh, usually it's like 60 mil for a Desi with, without drugs. 60 mil? I was thinking like, dude, my, my Thrasher, there's a Thrasher fit I've got going. That's it's 30 million is per fit. Maybe no sales. I thought that showed the market information for the entire. Oh, it's not going to. I have to be in G to, to see that information, don't I? That's probably what it is. I have to be in G to, to see it. But damn, 60 million. I'm I'm estimating like I've got to get more more ships going, but I thought it'd be like 30 million is per fit. I guess if you're going like implants and boosters and everything, maybe that all that probably adds up. All right, we got Drake Vac, Drake Vac, a lot of Drake Vacs. Let's see, and I'm flying directly away from them because I want this extraction node. Okay, I wish these guys would follow along with me. I was, uh, what I was trying to show y'all when I was trying to pull up the Brudix was the, uh, the event last year. Um, if you look at the market data for the Brudix and you look at the volume, the largest volume spike for the Brudix Navy issue over the past year was during an Abyssal Arena event. I just thought that's I, like, that's just so cool to me. Like the Brudix Navy issue saw a major spike in volume during that one weekend event. I think it was like three times more Brudix Navy issues were sold on any one day or, you know, during that time than any other time. All right. Well, this is a pretty easy room. What do I have loaded? I have Electro Punch loaded. Cool. All right. Damn, this is going to be stupid easy. Look at that. I think 45. Oh, during the event. Yeah, that's true. God, that's going to be painful, man. I imagine I'm, I'm going to be losing this on this event. With how expensive these modules and everything are going to be. You know? Oh, wow. Okay. All Drake of X are dead except for this one dude right here. 14i, 15. Wait, what? All right. That was a nice little two and a half minute encounter right there. 28 million. Uh, yeah, I imagine I'm going to be losing ISK on this event. <laughs> I need to get more T more fits with T2 rigs, though. I don't think T1 rigs are going to cut it. All right, what we got? Okay, this is easy. Entangle, entangler, entangler. Wow, really easy. What do I have? T. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get Electro Punch loaded. And 
June there's a big spike. Damn, really? Bigger than what was in January of last year? I don't know. I've not looked at it in a while. I'm trying to think. Brudix Navy issues, Cyclone Fleet issues. Um, I think Brudix. I thought Brudix was the um, was the big one that had like the most noticeable si um, spike. Okay, can I like one shot the rest of these? That'd be pretty cool. Eh, maybe not. All right, let's get on the gate. Or by the gate. Damn, these have been some easy freaking runs, man. Look at this. Not even breaking a sweat. Other than that one little nasty Eden Com encounter. I'm gonna go ahead and go for this extraction. Oh man, one. Okay, let me get this null warp cruiser down. Boom. And because I've got the ability, I'm gonna go for this extraction node. Where are the four of you? All right, you four, if you guys could stay balled up like that together, that is absolutely perfect. Just stay right there, just like that. Don't change a thing about what you're doing. Misclick and took the Stormbringer into T6. Oh my God. Freaking Insomnia and the Abyss Lurker sat misclicked and took the Stormbringer into a T6 exotic. Is it bad that I want to try that? Probably not with the, like maybe with the afterburner fit. Probably not with the uh, Michael Warp Drive fit. But I'd be tempted to try that myself. And then there was one. Damn, it, it doesn't go further back than April. That's dumb. Be cool if you could see that info, but okay. What was that room number two? 76 million room number two. I've got 15 minutes remaining. Huh. All right, third and final room. What we got? what we got what we got anything it don't matter what it is i can handle it oh the abyss smiles upon me today beautiful exotics work with this fit until you get heavy news then you're boned i would probably i i'm guessing it'd be like maybe i should get the afterburner fit and try try that though the problem is I think Electro Punch. It does, yeah, it does more EM damage than it does. Um, like no matter what, you're doing more EM damage with the Stormbringer than Kinetic, right? Kind of curious just to try it. Get the uh, get the Afterburner fit going, and uh, try some T6 exotics. Kind of curious. All right, I'm going to take out the field. Oh, wow. Okay, that's going to take all of them out. Beautiful. All right, go get the buy that for cash. This was an easy freaking run. I love it. Two more dudes to go and we are free. Oh, let me check with my damn phone. All right, I love me an easy abyssal run, fellas. And this one sure was easy. All right, come on, something big. Something big, please. Give me good, give me good, give me good. Give me something good. Trick or treat. What? All right, what we got, what we got? Something good, something good, something good. 38 million, damn it. All right, well, that puts me at 124 for this site. Damn, I, my runs have been pretty average today. Like I've not gotten anything. I think I've ran what, like 10 sites and I've not gotten anything where it's like 
What is your current DPS and shield tank? Current DPS and shield tank is... Let's see. Let me just get there. All right, current DPS. Let's get it with uh, Electro Punch because that's the ammo you're going to want to be using. Current DPS is 303.2. And current shield boost rate is 181.8 hit points a second. Capacitor is obviously negative, but in an electrical, you are a cat positive. Yeah, there's the numbers right there. 303.2 DPS, 181.8. Hit points a second, shield wise. I'm gonna blow some more money on mutated Vorton tuning systems. Gonna wait on it a little bit. Gonna recover from today's bullshittery. Uh, because, yeah, that wasn't very cool. All right. Sidario, what's up, man? How you doing? And I'm, I'm, I'm not like, it's not like, oh, scenario is here. I got to go. I, I was actually just about to call it a day. Um, yeah, I got to, I got to go and hop off here. It's almost three o'clock. I got a bunch of shit I got to do before the wife gets home. A DPS is a bit de deceiving as well. Technically it's 10 times that if you hit a full setup. Oh yeah, dude. Like you got to think about it. The DPS looks low, but if you have 10 targets, like I, I think the most I've ever seen, I hit 10 cruisers one time and each hit was like 1500 damage. So technically in that one tick of damage, I did 15,000 damage. So that's the cool part about the Stormbringer. So yeah, DPS is definitely a little misleading. Um, Man, let's see what I'm sitting at. Oh wait, let's do that. So I'm at 3.3 billion isk in loot. Um, I need to, I'm also going to sell that. Ooh. I'm going to sell all these. That's 1.6 billion, billion is worth of T5 electricals. Dude, happy new year to you too. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. I've run T5s in a storming year, making me doubt, uh, doubt to go into T6. Honestly, dude, there's one for you. I'm in dual storms. Dual. Wait, are you serious? You're running dual storm ringers like for serious. I mean, I guess it's that easy, right? Like, if it's probably the easiest thing to multi box. Um, yeah, here's kind of here's kind of what happened today. Completely blew a load of isk um, on some bad rolls on these Vorton tuning systems. Did not get a single good one. Oh, PVP! Damn, you're, you're dual boxing Stormbringers for PVP. Here's the spike in small ball kids. Oh shit, that's right. The small ball kids. I gotta load. Damn it, dude. I gotta load up on those. I did not buy any of them. If you are an industry guy, bulkhead. Bulkhead rigs. If you are an industry guy, he's right here. I would highly recommend you build some because pretty soon they're going to be worth a lot more. Or at least for that weekend, they're going to be worth a lot. Or, you know, if you want to be cool and sell a bunch of them to me for cheap, I would love that. <laughs> you melted a full... Damn! Stormbringer's getting some fleet action. When did that happen? I want to see that uh, that kill mail, man. I want to see some of those kill mails. Was that recent? Overall sale order volume seems to have gone up considerably. Okay, so maybe the industrial guys. So yeah, y'all, this this arena event starts off not this coming weekend, but the weekend after. Some uh, a good time for some market shenanigans. Two weeks oh two weeks ago, I'll probably peek on your kill board, uh, scroll through your kill board and try and uh, try and look at that. That's awesome though, fleet of stormies. You linked the video from Casey. Oh it. Dude, I got to figure out. Hold on. Let me see something. Hold on. Actually, you know what? Let's try this right now. Let's do it live. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to allow customization. Live reactions. Anyone? Okay. I'm 
trying to figure out how to allow there's no setting for allowing links automatically allow automatic chapters on my pages page reporting comment moderation basically hold okay so let's just okay i'm gonna have to deep dive into how to allow links I'm still on holiday, then I can no life the event. Dude. What is it? So you're gonna you're gonna be off for the abyssal that my plan right now, guys, I tell you what. 24 hour stream is my plan. I'm gonna go live Saturday the 13th right after downtime and i'm gonna stream for 24 hours for this abyssal arena event that is my plan 24 hours of arena pvp that's the game that's the plan sent it on discord okay there's something to watch i like it oh that's from casey casey lp there's a name i ain't seen in a hot minute What's old Casey been up to, huh? Is he flying with y'all? Um. So the event will go from the Abyssal Proving Round event. It's gonna start on the twelfth, right after downtime. It's gonna start on the twelfth, and it's gonna end downtime on the fifteenth. So the twelfth, thirteen, fourteen in the 15th he's been in big ad for a while now nolan what's up man happy new year dude used to be friday yeah so it's gonna start friday friday saturday sunday end on monday morning yeah i was in casey just the idea of doing that gives me anxiety i'm i'm gonna do i've done a couple 24 hour streams in my time i've never done a 24 hour stream on youtube this would be my first ever 24 hour stream on YouTube. I've been going back and forth whether or not I've wanted to do it on YouTube or Twitch. Um, yes, Lilo, I know I'm almost done. Um, I've been going back and forth between Twitch and YouTube for 24 hours, but I think I'm just going to do it on YouTube. I cannot Twitch. I just can't stand it. I don't like watching Twitch streams. Why would I stream on a platform where I don't even want to freaking go to it anyway? So. Um, yeah, I can do a 24 hour stream for the abyssal proving grounds. Y'all, I got to get off here. I've got to go. Um, this is my last day of freedom before I have to go back to work though. I'm only going to work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Then I have the weekend. So there's that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. Y'all could do me a, if you could do me a huge favor and like the video, that would help me out a lot. I'd really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> the free toy. Yeah. If it gets quiet, you'll have me running it at those wee, like, downtime hours that no one usually plays on. Um, Let's see. What else? Anything else? I don't know when I'm going to stream next. Work is about to turn into hell. Um, I'm about to hate my life for the next, like, month or two because work. So I don't know when I'm going to be live again. Guess I'll figure it out. Work's about to go to shit. I just, yep. Uh, but y'all, happy freaking new year, y'all. Happy New Year 2024. Here we are. Hopefully this year is better than the previous couple of years. Um, man, we started this year off freaking earthquake hit. I don't know, but I, I got to get going. I got to go get some food. I've not eaten yet today, so I'm starving. Y'all, thank you so damn much for an amazing stream. I appreciate y'all hanging out. Um, glad y'all could watch me absolutely melt some of these modules and completely waste a bunch of that. I don't even talk about that. That's done. It's over. Arr! Happy New Year's, y'all. Have a great rest of your Tuesday. I don't know when I'll be around again. So take care, y'all. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll catch y'all some other time. I don't know when. It'll be a surprise to you, to me. Uh, Abyssal Proving Grounds starting the 13th. That'll be it.